break in. I wish I had the time to call you and several other people yesterday. I'm sorry about that. If you could come look at your unit. What's going on, Hustle Fam? I'm sorry to bring y'all back here under these conditions, but man, we gotta take care of some business today. So I don't know what it is with these vending machine business owners getting their storage or warehouses getting broken into because this just happened to the OG in the vending game, Jaime Ibanez, not too long ago. And now it's my turn, I guess. So I just got off the phone with the management team and this is what they had to say. Hi, this is Chris Moore, uh, the owner of unit, I wanna say number 29. I got an email from you guys saying it was a break-in, I want to say two nights ago. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, let me pull my sheet out so I can see what your unit number is. Okay. Because it's not, it, we don't have a unit 29 I'm looking at. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Now. I don't remember. Uh, I'm just waiting for the POS system to load. It's, I don't know why, but at several of our stores this morning, the Wi-Fi was down. I guess just in this area, but I have um, mm. a list of everybody's name and unit number printed out, so let me just okay. read this really quick. Alright, so your unit is unit... <laughs> Okay, got you. And do, do you is it any idea of how the break in happened or have any leads or was the gate left open? No, the gate. Got you. All right. Yeah. All right. Um, I can make it by there this afternoon. And uh, my concern would be: Do y'all have the guy in custody, or are y'all still looking for? It? Is it at risk of happening again? unit I do have two vending machines in there which was that one abandoned vending machine that I was given for free and then that one snack machine that I was doing a car reader install video on which I ended up taking that car reader off of that machine and putting it on another one but it's those two machines that's in my storage unit and they said the door was left open by the time they got there this morning what happened in here we was robbed I'm on the way to that storage unit right now I got to talk to the managers out there fill out a loss report and we'll see what it look like when we get there. So we just made it to the storage unit and already been inside to talk to the management. So they gave me this packet of things, which is the new key for the new lock that they put in because the burglars and they ended up yanking out the whole latch apparently. And then they gave me an insurance claim form. So if anything's stolen or damaged, I need to fill out this form and then give them a copy. So when I go to file my insurance, they're gonna need a verification from the management here. So our page will be on point. So, I got everything I need, got the keys, got the insurance claim packet. Let's go ahead and check out the storage unit. Oh, man. All right. So, like I said, they said they had ripped the whole latch off. That's how they got into these units. So, that's a whole new lot. You can tell by how shiny it is. Let's get it open. All right, we got the lock off. Open. 
Sesame. 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 They must have did more than just, okay. This was holding it right here, I think. Whoo, there go my babies. Hey, it look like we survived this one. We dodged that bullet. They ain't touched nothing. Cord still intact, glass still intact. Oh yeah. All right, we good. I don't know though, guys. What you think? Should I say they took about two, three of my machines? You think I'll get some money for that? <laughs> no, nah, I'm joking, I don't do that. We slanging hope and legitimacy, no illegal activity. That's the motto. All right, y'all, so we dodged that bullet. Now I can sleep good tonight. All right, so I just filled out the accident report. Nothing stolen, so let's go ahead and lock it back up. So I just returned the incident report back to the management. So they didn't take any of my machines. I guess they were too heavy for them to take. And upon talking to the management, they weren't taking any heavy items anyway. They said all the heavy items they were chucking in the woods or just leaving alone. So I dodged the bullet on that one. Hopefully they catch these guys, man. You can't just be breaking the people's stuff and think you're going to get away with it. Especially when you're talking about hitting pristine. Hey, I'll talk to y'all in the next one.